Hi, I'm, my name is Marty Ross and I'm 81 years old. Hello fellow seniors. I know, uh, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're planning. I know that I'm going to be safe over here because you seem like nice people. I mean, I'm 81. Uh, anyone here my age? No, not yet? All right, well, how about anybody here around 100? I know there's someone here. All right, raise his hand. All right. That's very cool because you know, my mother's 101. And uh, if you'd like to know the family secret, we don't die. No, we keep shrinking till we just disappear. So I went to visit my mother in the nursing home. You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. Uh, the only reason I'm here now is I had to get a, a pass from the front desk. And do you want to know humiliating? My mother, 101-year-old mother, had to sign it. I don't know if anyone other than us know what goes on in these places. You have all these older ladies just looking for a guy who can walk without falling over. I found this out. I'm walking down the hall one day. An arm comes out of a doorway. This woman grabs me. She pulls me into the room. The next thing I know, I'm crocheted to the bed. So, I went to visit my mom's at her apartment. All I said was, hi, mom. And she said, stand up straight, you're slouching. I'm like, mom, she said, don't make that face. It'll freeze like that. I said, crap. She said, you want me to wash your mouth out? I said, mom, please. When are you going to stop treating me like a kid? I'm 81 years old. She said, oh, look at Mr. Big Shot, all grown up now, are we? Oh, man, but I am. I have grandchildren, and I know you have grandchildren, and probably some of you have great-grandchildren. But I bet you don't have some grandchildren like I do. I have a six-year-old grandson that I was watching the other day, and he was telling me that he knows everything about George Washington. And I was like, what? And he goes, well, George Washington was the first president, and he is the father of our country. I said, that's wonderful. I said, what else? He said, Grandpa, did you vote for him? And if you think that's bad, I have an eight-year-old grandson. Boy, is he a piece of work. We're playing checkers the other day. He looks up at me and said, you're going down, bald man. And then he said, Grandpa, if you die while we're playing, I win. Really? But I, my oldest grandson uh, just turned 18, graduated high school, and now he thinks he knows everything, and his grandpa knows nothing. And he's like, Grandpa, you know it's 2021. You don't know how anything works. And I'm like, really? Do you know how to please a woman? He said, no, but you have three ex-wives, so either do you. I also have a 15-year-old granddaughter, and what a delight. I was giving her a driving lesson last Saturday. Everything was going great till we came around the turn, hopped the curb, and hit a tree. Oh, she's sitting there with tears just streaming down her face, and she said, Grandpa, now can I please drive? Oh, such a sweet story. My memory is, is awful. I don't know about the rest of you, uh, but it, I can't remember anything anymore. I mean, my whole life feels like, do you ever walk into a room in your house and have no idea why you're there? So you start looking for clues? That's what my life is like. I mean, I had a doctor appointment two weeks ago. 
I go out to my car, forgot my keys. Not the end of the world, it happens. But I go back to my house, forgot why I was there and made myself a sandwich. The next thing I know, the doctor's office calls and I'm like, oh crap, I'll be right over. So I rush back out to my car. Wouldn't you know it, forgot my keys again. But this time, I use my head. All the way back to the house, I said, doctor, keys, doctor, keys. Which probably explains why I ended up in the office of Dr. Theodore Keys gynecologist. The good news is my pap smear came back perfect. Now, uh, one of the problems that I have is that I find that young people don't like old people. Maybe it's just me. But have you ever driven behind an old person? Have you ever driven behind me? Because I don't know how this happened. I was driving along like I always do. I looked down at my dashboard. I'm going six. And I'm thinking, I better slow down. Well, the next thing I know, I start sinking into my seat as my hands go up like this on the steering wheel. Does this look familiar? Wait, how about this? So I'm driving, I'm driving, I noticed that somehow I have both turn signals on and I'm thinking I should probably let those people behind me know which way I'm going, but this little voice in my head said, screw them, let them figure it out. Well, I'm feeling pretty empowered when a cop pulls me over, gets on his loudspeaker and said, will you please pull over? I'm getting tired of walking next to your car. Now people, one thing I think you've all noticed, you've had singers and dancers and other comedians and younger people, every one of them can move. I'm here, I'm not going anywhere. I'm 81, I've been planted right here for you. Uh, and, and I remember what happened when I, I got old. Uh, some of you may remember too. I remember, I remember first I got old, then I started shrinking, then I started losing weight, body mass, became frail. So I'm driving my car at five miles an hour and I hit a speed bump, flew out of the car, ended up in some lady's lawn while she's having a yard sale and someone tried to buy me for two bucks. They thought I was a lawn gnome. Oh man. I also want to tell you this. Uh, I don't like young people. And I'll tell you why. Because they can do stuff I can't do anymore. I was an athlete. I used to be able to do the mile in six minutes. Now it takes me 15 depending on the traffic. And ladies, I don't want to brag, but I used to be able to do every situation in the Kama Sutra. Now my back goes out just looking at the pictures. Marty, they're, Marty, they're still watching. Oh. The, no, the, the audience is still... Oh. Oh. More jokes. You need more jokes. Oh, okay. oh thanks. I, I, I think I fell asleep. So I was talking about n not liking young people, I, I, I remember. Uh, and, uh, and, and one of the things that bothers me is, is that I used to be able to drive around all day long without having to stop and pee. Now I'm like an animal marking my territory. You know, in the last two weeks, I had territorial disputes with a dog, a raccoon, and a squirrel. I'm over three people. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this before or not because I was asleep uh, uh, and I do talk in my sleep. Uh, but the best thing about being old, I've discovered, is now when I uh, get my teeth cleaned, 
I just drop them off. So here's another problem. Dating. Dating at 81 for me is, is like impossible. I mean, I don't even know where to go to find women. I know I can't go to bars and clubs. That's where young people hang out. And funerals are hit or miss. Am I supposed to go to the drugstore, hang out at the prescription department, and hit on those little old ladies? Hey, baby, you want to come back to my place and slam down some prune juice with your heart medication? But one thing you need to know about old people, and you all know it because you're all old people, we're not sexually competitive at all. In fact, if any of us gets lucky, finishes, and remembers, it's a good night for all of us. So the other problem I'm having is I don't even know what I'm looking for in a woman. I know what I used to like. I used to like young women with tight bodies. But now my standards have changed. I only have two. Boobs above the waist, butt above the knees. So another problem that many seniors have, and some of you here may have had the same one, um, is trying to get a job, even a part-time job. Employers don't want to hire old people. They give you the most bull excuses too, like you're not qualified in this field, or you're drooling on your shoes, or I'm over here. No, over here. So that is why I had to find my own jobs. Oh, and my favorite? I was a school crossing guard. Little kids would come up and they'd go, Mister, is it okay to cross now? And I'd be like, hey kid, give it your best shot. They fired me. Another place I got fired, I was a greeter at Walmart. One, mo one morning I made a mistake. I smiled and they noticed I had one too many teeth. Let me go right then and there. But I found another job, now it's paying some serious bucks jumping out of caskets at surprise parties. I know I complain a lot, but quite honestly, my life is very good. In fact, last Saturday night, I made love to three women all night long. No, wait, wait. It was two. No, it was. No, I had soup. Uh, so, the other thing I'm, I just want to end with is that I am having trouble with Medicare because they won't cover my Viagra. Uh, but I read the Medicare booklet, and they do cover minor surgery. So you guys remember the clap, you know, lights on, lights off? I had one of those installed in me down there, ladies. So hold your applause unless you're willing to make a commitment. I'm Marty Ross. Enjoy the rest of your day.